And you're picking out every piece and looking at it and deciding what to do with it. That's the kind of week that we're having. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning January 13th, 2020. Now before we get into it here, as I (laughs) am recording this, there is the most extraordinary full moon outside. Cannot wait to get back out there and look at it. It's just spectacular. I also want to say thank you to everybody who has been liking, sharing, subscribing, I appreciate your support so much. Thank you all who have been with me since the beginning and everywhere in between. I really appreciate you all just being here and sharing this moment with me. Now, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please make sure that you read exactly what you're getting for your money, okay? (laughs) And of course, I have courses over at Gumroad and I appreciate all the Patreon support as well. I will leave all that information down below. So I'm going to be quiet here for a moment and let's channel a message and let's see what is going on for the coming week. Major changes and disruptions, personal and otherwise. (laughs) So for you, for people around you in the world, different approaches being being taken. Mm Don't resist what wants to go away from you. So I want to talk about relationships here for a moment. If um, if any of you have been sort of, you know, pining for someone or you're waiting for them to come back around, I would definitely say this is a time to do your releasing, to start letting that go. Because whatever is moving away from you, you know, when people care and love you, <laughs> care about you and love you, they want to talk to you. They want a connection. They want to be near you. Now, there are lots of people who are wired in many different ways out there who are going to say, oh, no, that's not the case. Sometimes somebody, blah, 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 all these excuses. Listen, people will always find a way. If they love you, they will find a way, right, to communicate with you. They'll make space for you in their world, all those kinds of things. When we get into this space of, People saying they want to be with you or saying that they are there for you. They're a good friend or maybe it's a coworker. Maybe it's somebody who says, oh, I'm behind you 100%. Always pay attention to their actions. Are they constantly showing up late for no reason? They're not stuck in traffic. They just think everyone's going to wait on them. Now, I know a lot of you out there (laughs) are like, I'm constantly late. You need to watch that though because that sends a message. You want to make sure that you... Pay attention to all of your actions. Are you sending the message that you mean to send, right? If someone is waiting on you, you're being disrespectful of their time. You can make excuses all you want. You're being disrespectful and you're showing that their time isn't as valuable as yours, right? And maybe you're asking for a lot of, um, I don't know, leeway (laughs) with how you want to conduct your life where they had to show up, they had to put portions of their life to show up on time. That's just one example. Or if someone claims that, okay, I want you in my world, and then they're very dismissive, they're very spotty on communication. Always be aware, if somebody is purposely waiting three days to answer one of your text messages, that's a known game, guys. (laughs) That's a known game. That is to establish dominance over someone. So be careful of these things. When what this is, this is uh, breaking open what we've been conditioned to just put up with. And you can, you know, this is an example with relationships. And we're saying, you know, if someone isn't respecting you, they're not um, giving you whatever, you know, they're not supporting your needs. You don't need to keep them in your life. New opportunities are coming for you. Now, if we want to talk on a grander scale, this is really the deconditioning time. It's the time of going, okay, let's stop just, going along with everything. Let's stop just making excuses for bad behavior, right? Opening up to it, understanding it, seeing it, and not participating anymore, (laughs) right? So that's a big one. There's also this huge message coming up. uh, And this actually came up in someone's personal reading. And I knew, I was like, I'm probably going to have to see if that comes up in a weekly too. And I feel like I need to share this. So 
I'm going to call it quantum correcting, but that's a very human way of putting it because that uh, sort of implies that something is wrong. <laughs> so it's not exactly that. But uh, if we want to go along with that idea, it is taking a moment that is not going well. People have talked about this for a very long time and shifting the reality around it through your energy and through your intention. Now, you can't be doing this to invoke your free will over somebody else's free will or if you deem something not okay in this world and you're like, wah, 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 <laughs> you try to, try to change it or whatever. You know, it's not going to work in every situation. But as we start to go through what I have been calling the density blast phase, when things start coming up to the surface to be seen, uh, we don't go into a state of panic. We just hold space for it and be balanced, basically, and wait for it to even out, whatever that might be. Okay, so there's that. What else, guys? It's a good thing. All of this is a very, very good thing. You'll find, you know, on the more personal level, the friends that have not respected you, they flow out of your life and you're suddenly very, very happy. So this is that kind of time where you're examining your world and you're going, hey, that doesn't work for me. Hey, my needs are important too. It can't just be everything revolving around you. There needs to be an equal exchange. So there's a lot of releasing going on here. And when we hold space on a worldwide stage, and we, we see things shifting. It doesn't mean that everything's going to be perfect. But what it does mean is that we're, we're continuing to understand our truest nature and the power of the energy that we put out and how that power or that electricity or whatever you want to call it, with that energy will bounce off of other people and what kind of reaction will you get, right? This is that kind of thing where if somebody is going, oh my gosh, you know, I really want that person in my life. We're going to keep with that example here. Everybody's got an opinion, but we're going to keep with that example. I really want this person in my life, but and you're not in contact with them, but you're constantly thinking of them. You're ruminating, you're, you're obsessing. Guess what? They're not going to come near you, right? They're going to be pushed further back. It's the energy exchange. So this is letting go of what's not necessary. And this might be in a very physical way too. I know I've been cleaning out my closets and, you know, things that I've been hanging on to <laughs> for a very, very long time. I'm finally being rid of them. Um, I'm bringing in objects that I really love and adore and getting rid of things that, you know, I bought them for functionality and I don't like looking at them, right? So there's even weird things like that where we're changing our environment and we're changing how we approach things. So this week... It's sort of the aftermath of things going poof, 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 like really just kind of exploding and shaking and breaking down. And this might be a week of cleanup, but it's sort of demolishing the old, getting it cleared away with anticipation of something really beautiful going in its place. So it depends on who you are. If you're somebody who hangs on to everything, you're not going to have a good time. Okay. <laughs> if you are somebody who's like, please clear it away, I'm ready. This is your time. All right. So um, I've got a weird setup here. I'm kind of far away from my camera. I'm trying to like not bump my mic. <laughs> Let's get some cards going here. Okay. That should do it about right there. What do we have? Brazilianite flexibility. Boy, they ain't kidding. Let me tell you, you are going to have to really kind of stay on your toes this week because everything you thought was going to happen, it's going to look different. It might be even going away entirely. Be flexible. And this means be flexible with the opportunities that the universe is trying to bring forward for you. If you get into a mindset that your future can only look like this, this, and this, and there are no other possibilities, you're getting yourself stuck, okay? Uh, if you think that your career has to look a certain way and the one that you're in, there's no use in trying to save it, well, <laughs> you might find that there's a surge uh, of energy that goes into your current career and now you're getting a little bit of payoff, you know, or whatever. We shouldn't be doing things just for the payoff, but you know, really, if you tap into that joy and you stay there and you can kind of bounce with whatever's happening, okay, and we're talking like the rattling of uh, things that are deconstructing, 
if you can remain flexible, <laughs> right, it's not going to be terrible. As a matter of fact, it comes with a lot of excitement. All right, be flexible, be flexible with the people around you as well. But remember what we said, if they don't, you know, if they're not meeting your needs, if it's always just about them, take that into consideration. Okay, then we have hematite grounding. So this is not a time for spiritual escapism. This is not a time to victimize yourself. This is a time of being reflective, realizing what you're magnetizing to yourself and make sure every idea that you have, everything that you're trying to make happen in your world is grounded. You can have a million great ideas, but if you don't take action to bring it into reality, it's not going to happen. So again, we're understanding our quantum selves. We're starting to understand the complexity of our souls, the multifaceted nature of it. And we're learning, okay, we're learning the power that we have. What's really cool about this is that anybody who would abuse that power, this isn't even going to be in their awareness <laughs> whatsoever. And so they will be the type to be like, how do you always get so lucky? How do you always make things happen? And it's not as if you're out there manipulating energy to get what you want out of greed or selfishness, right? Those people aren't even going to perceive this. Or if they attempt to and they try to imitate it, it's going to be a mess for them. They're going to be manifesting a lot of things that just don't work <laughs> in their world. So remain grounded, guys. Just remain grounded. Keep you know, any, any kind of realization you have about the power that you have, use it for good. All right. <laughs> and don't use it to manipulate or take over someone else. All right. So then we have hiddenite gratitude. This is, there we go. Hiddenite gratitude, beautiful card. This is saying, don't wait to be happy. You hear me say this all the time. Don't wait until X, Y, and Z falls into place. And then I can feel satisfied. This is saying, Hey, no, your life is happening right now. It's a beautiful thing. Have gratitude for what's coming forward. And especially if something or someone goes out of your life, be very grateful because <laughs> like it, it, you're being saved. And I, you know, I relate to that quite a bit, that message, because, you know, as, as I was saying earlier, you have had people coming into my world. When I go on about my day, I have people come up and start conversations with me and I'm grateful that certain things don't pan out because I saw it. And sometimes you have to get to a certain space before you can look back and see all the red flags. <laughs> all right. So again, there's a lot around relationships and how we interact with one another. So be grateful for the people who are always loyal and faithful and trustworthy and loving towards you and be grateful for those who are not like that going out of your world. All right. So the final card before we get on <laughs> to the card card is pyromorphite patience. So yeah, again, it's not one of those weeks where everything is just going to start falling into place necessarily, but you'll see that there's a plan. Again, it's the cleanup week, right? And some of you might still have things deconstructing and that's fine. But what I kind of, if you notice, did you notice the color scheme? So the color scheme here, did you see this? They're mostly green cards. And then there's just that one hematite card. So that's pretty interesting. The power that we have, that we're understanding our true nature is emanating from the heart. So when we're talking about expanded consciousness, I know kind of the old way of looking at spirituality was that it was coming from the third eye. I mean, that's very important, but really we're bringing all the energy down, right? And we're emanating with our whole being. So it's starting from the heart space. Make sure your heart is clear. If you want to do some releasing, forgiving, you know, whatever you got to do, do it. It's cleanup time. It's a perfect time to do that, right? Okay. So let's get us, oh, what I do? So let's do a color card here and let's see what else is coming up for us. <coughs> Oops, excuse me, <laughs> mama. Okay. Our color card is burgundy. Awaken your passion. The number is 10. Now this is interesting because we are changing our goals. We are, again, as we start to take our dreams and bring them into reality, we have to understand what we truly want. So awaken your passion doesn't mean, 
oh, I'm going to go after that thing I've been clamoring after for 10 years and it's just not working out. If it's not working out, it's time to change course. It's time to be very honest with yourself. What are your real passions? What do you really care about? What do you really want to do? Now, your mind will tell you, oh, I really love helping my community. No, you don't. Okay, excuse me. Does anybody really want to be standing outside in a t-shirt that looks like everybody else's t-shirt? With There's always some like mean <laughs> person in charge who's barking orders at everybody. And you have to go put together a thousand gift bags or something. Like, listen, we don't do those things because the very action of it is joyful. We do it for the, you know, for the sense of community not how you're going to look, right? Does that make sense? Um, we want to be there with other people that, that we're relating to. The actual action might not be fun, but that's not even what I'm talking about. If you want to do that, great. We need everybody to pull together and whatever, but let's be honest about what's fun and what's not fun. But what do you really care about? What really ignites you? For me, um, I don't know. I get these weird, and I always have these weird flashes I guess people would call it insight, call it what you will, but it was these messages and I just felt like I had to get them out there. And sometimes these messages were not welcomed <laughs> and I didn't know what to do with them. And I found my passion. I found a way to get messages out there. So look at it for yourself and make sure it's not something that you've just become so accustomed to that you don't even put any value on it anymore, right? So awaken your passion means figure out what your passion is. How do you want to express passion and love? passion for a project. You know, maybe you're very passionate about helping your friends. Maybe you're, you know, whatever the deal is, you see the whole, the whole shift that's going on here. It's like, we're getting very real with ourselves, <laughs> but we're having discoveries, new ones. We're having new discoveries about ourselves. It's not even like, okay, I got that all figured out. If you think you got life all figured out, you better buckle up because <laughs> things are going to rattle and roll. All right. So overall, I feel like this is a wonderful week. It's just a very kind of low key cleaning it up kind of thing. But think of this in terms of like if you were to clean out a closet and you came across a giant bin of memorabilia and you're picking out every piece and looking at it and deciding what to do with it. That's the kind of week that we're having. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. <music>